What is Rich Dad Poor Dad about? It's exactly what I'm going to talk about. From 1996 to 2000, I was the master distributor of the cash flow game for the Rich Dad Poor Dad brand. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that story, but specifically the Rich Dad Poor Dad, it's the what? It was the wake up call. They did an amazing job of waking up the world to this conversation and how integrated wealth systems of what I built were the how. Were the details, we're down to your corporate credit, your credit, your funding, where are you banking, down to the nitty gritty. Why? Because I assembled an enormous team. So third, I actually am going to share with you a little more about that team. Why a team's important. And right now in the comments, I would love for you to start just before you learn anything from me, I want you in the comments to write who is currently on your team. Make, give me a list. I want to know how big your wealth team is. Is it just your banker, your accountant, your lawyer? Do you have a financial planner? Do you have an insurance person? Do you have an entity person? Do you have a trust person? The list gets large if you do it right. So I'd love to know in your comments. And if you want to learn more about this, let me know that too. So let's get started. So in 1996, I jumped out of a huge corporate job. I was working for Chevron and I was in a very different industry. I was building fitness centers on offshore oil rigs and refineries and in marketing facilities. Did that for quite a while for Chevron. Actually, it was just like five years, but it seemed like a lifetime because I'm just such a bad employee. My ultimate goal for a lot of you watching my channel is to make you unemployable. I want you to have your own company and your company can work with my company. My company can work with your company. Company to company relationships are far greater than employee relationships. So little tip on that. Back to Rich Dad Poor Dad. Bob Proctor called me one day and said, I need you to go to this ranch. I need you to meet this guy. He's got this game. I'm like, all right. So anyway, long story, fast forward. I met Robert Kiyosaki, Sharon Lecter. I flew to Scottsdale, Arizona, sat around Sharon's kitchen table, literally, and cut a deal. Went back, quit Chevron, and started selling the cash flow game. Did I have any idea what I was doing? No. So I just said yes, and I figured it out. So fast forward, 1999, became a millionaire in real estate. In 2000, I jumped because I had a huge database of people that I'd been playing the game with all over the world, primarily North America and Australia, a little bit in Asia. But what I realized is that the common like question that everyone said at the end is how do I do this in my life? So during those years, I started financially coaching, right? Financial education, financial literacy coaching. And then in 2000, I jumped and went totally on my own to do my own brand, to really dig into that how question. So appreciate love that Rich Dad Poor Dad put all this conversation on the map. So for those of you who are wondering, what's the philosophy? It's think and grow rich. It's Bob Proctor's, you were born rich. It's as a man thinketh and Rich Dad Poor Dad and we follow along with, we follow along straight into the millionaire maker. So I studied millionaire since I was 17 years old and it's just fascinating to me how few people have figured out how to become a millionaire. So off with the millionaire maker, and because I did the game for so long for Rich Dad Poor Dad, I have my own. So the way I want you reading the book is read the first few chapters, and then the rest of the millionaire maker is finding the story. See, what I found out about the Rich Dad Poor Dad and the, the cash flow is not all people have done the same things to themselves. You're all at different places. So after studying and studying millionaires, I identified there's about seven patterns that people do to themselves. So the way you read the millionaire maker book is you find which story is most like what you've done to yourself to this point in your life. And then to really reinforce the blueprints in the book, I built the game. So the game then is a place where after you play Monopoly, cash flow, you play the millionaire maker because cash flow is just cash flow. Millionaire maker is all of it. It's all the components of your life that it takes to build a millionaire plan for you and your family and generational wealth. So with the millionaire maker game, it's something you can just put around a kitchen or dining room table and come back to it come back to it, come back to it, play for an hour or two, walk away from it and start digesting the different patterns that you need in your life financially. So we dig into the how at Integrated Wealth Systems, really deep into, are you incorporated? How are you making your money? There's different qualities of money. If you think about the Rich Dad Poor Dad brand, there were very specific lessons, right? The Poor Dad mentality. And I think uh, a lot of you can resonate with that. Like I grew up in a farm in Nebraska. So I didn't grow up like super poor or anything like that. Uh, Probably just, you know, average American family. That's probably what a lot of you uh, have all grown up with. And in fact, right now, if you want to put in the comments, some different thinking patterns that came out of your growing up. And the other thing I like to invite you to think about is how did you even get to these money behaviors? Who taught you how to pay the bills you pay today? Who taught you how to make the money you make today? Who taught you how to invest the money you have? Did anyone even give you the concept of a team? That you need a team to do this. There's Western medicine and there's alternatives. Well, there's traditional finance and there's the alternatives. 
Everyone wealthy I know lives in the alternatives, but where do you learn that? So that's why about 17 years old and really when I jumped over to work with the Rich Dad Poor Dad group and in 2000 to go on my own and say, I'm gonna commit my life to this. I wanna teach financial literacy, I'm gonna teach the truth. Because there's not one person who studies deeply into my work that says, boy, I wish I would've learned this in fifth, sixth, seventh grade. So this would be a great time to invite you to my channel. So click on the link subscribe to my channel, hit the notification button, get back here every day. I'm five days a week. I'm going to keep doing this. And in your comments, you can give me feedback on other topics and conversations you'd like to have. And if you're really serious, I'm going to give you an application at the end of our conversation to work with me and my team. So super exciting stuff. Let's talk about the rich dad mentality. So the rich dad mentality is really how you live corporate life. It's how you, your companies make money. You live through corporate deductions. I call it living corporate life. And that's what we teach It's a process. It's not a program. It's not, I'm going to go set it up for 12 months and then be done. You know, there's a lot of programs you all sign up for with different gurus that last a year. Mine's a lifetime ticket. You pay once, it's a lifetime for you and your family. Why? Because it's a very big conversation about how do you walk yourself to millionaire status. So if you're serious about this and you really want the house of the Rich Dad, Poor Dad book, and if you don't even know what I'm talking about and you haven't read our books, go out to Amazon, go grab Rich Dad, Poor Dad, grab my Millionaire Maker. I have five others. I've got five New York Times. April 2022, I'm coming out with how I made my kids millionaires on paper by 10 and how you build generational wealth. So if you want this in your life, it's not difficult. It's just different. And it is really different. And some of you are going to be a little irritated. You're going to say, how come I wasn't taught this? School systems are designed to create employees, not entrepreneurs and not millionaires. So this is your school. Again, if you haven't subscribed, I want to be here five days a week with you. I'm asking for about 10, 15 minutes every day. If you're super serious, grab my podcast. It comes out every Friday. It's called Laurel's Real Money Talks. So out of the Millionaire Maker book, I did a, a personality quiz. It's called my financial personality test. So it takes about 30, 45 seconds. Just answer very intuitively and quick. And you're going to be put in one of four profiles. So there's seven in the book, but because of the quiz and the website, I narrowed it down to four because I want to see where you are. And then I want you to fill out the application that'll come right after that on a thank you page. And then you're going to talk to one of my teammates. And I'd love to see if it's, you know, we're compatible. If you want to work with me, if you want to be a millionaire right now, my promise in the Millionaire Maker book is three to five years. I got millionaires coming in at 12, 18 and 24 a month consistently. Just this week, we had a big table, big community meeting. Two people hit their millionaire statuses while we were there. Super fun, super exciting. So I hope you join us. I'll talk to you tomorrow.